Good evening, everybody. Jerry here, and today we got a lot to cover. This is the end of our Beat My Craving 10 Days Challenge. And what's going to happen here? First and foremost, we're going to get ready to get some money away. And I really hope, since that you're here and now, like that you win the challenge. In my opinion, you like, and again, uh, we will do challenges towards whoever deserves to win. And, and we'll do challenges that obviously there is a, a will to spin which is obviously in fairness to everybody that should be. But uh, given the fact the work you put in, given the fact you're here, I really hope the, 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 the luck is on your hand. And that's what we're going to do today right now, because I want to. Um, and again, if you're watching the replay, if you're going to join later, if you're watching the replay, comment uh, down below if this is a replay or this is or if, if you were, in fact, there live. And. Uh, if you won the challenge and you're not here, uh, you don't necessarily need to be here, but you got 24 hours to claim a prize. We're going to basically spin the wheel a couple of times and at least two or three winners, meaning like first, second and third place. If you don't reach out to me in 24 hours with your PayPal, it, it goes directly to the second person and it goes directly to the third person. If nobody out of three reaches out, the challenge is you, you nobody won okay and again like this is kind of like uh talking about the accountability cool so let me josh uh let's let's get that done right away and this is how this is gonna be done it's actually pretty cool and we'll share that so i put here the people that participated this challenge was actually pretty intense and we got every entry uh you know nine entry for elena about eight for vicky uh you know eight for Lillian, which is actually pretty cool to, to, to notice that because uh, she did not post much inside the challenge. In fact, she only invited people to the challenge, but that gives you perspective because there was rule to follow. There was, uh, you know, uh, incentive to come in. And if you would have gone live, for example, three times, you would have about 15 entries, right? To, to spend mm -hmm. maybe five minutes. So this is uh, it's just viewpoint in life that obviously sometimes life pays you back according to whatever work you do okay so let's be right like with this being said just let's let's get going and let's see if the winner uh whoever with the winner is and this thing is actually pretty cool if you like this thing just let me know and let's see who won this oh. you actually won so it, it, it okay. wasn't on purpose you're here and i am like like if you're smart you know you click send me your paypal in the next 24 hours and you're one but let's say that let, you know let's just for the sake of fairness let's let's spin it twice and and uh, if you were not to contact me inside the next 24 hour. And again, if you win again, it's not gonna, okay, Vicky, you would be second. So Vicky, like you already won last challenge. And again, given the fact that Helena, she's blind and she's not gonna see she won, the third person right now would be, yeah, Vicky again. Okay, so, right. Okay, either two of you, right? Yep. Send your PayPal in the next 24 hour, you'll be cool to go. Okay, excellent. So um, I just submitted, Another person, Lam is here joining. Uh, again, when, when you join, we're going to start. Let's talk about what, what is today because I, I am going, there is a huge announcement whether you see the replay or not. Uh, we're going to cover a bunch of things. Number one is the fact that uh, I'm going to coach you inside this this live. And, and again, uh, it's interesting to see. Um, I mean, now you're here, but like Lamis is going to come too. Like if there is more people joining, whoever is here can, can actually experience that for a second. But it's important for you to get what, what we are doing this week. Uh, there are going to be challenges that are going to be easy, like walking, like drinking water, like getting protein. Those are things that are super easy to do. And there are challenges that by nature you feel is easy, like, you know, stop emotional eating, that it requires work. And as much as you put it at work, you're going to get back, obviously, inside this group. And with this being said, I know a few people uh, wanting to join or not join and said, like, I, I, you know, I didn't participate. Why should I join? It's like everything in this group is free. You should join, even if it doesn't really pretend to you or you don't feel, because there is always going to be uh, work that you need to get done. Okay, so uh, it's important that uh, you, you actually uh, take advantage of those things. Now, with this being said, uh, emotional eating. Cravings. This this says as much as a, a physiological component, uh, or or better say the restriction component to the mind component. And again, this is what we're gonna talk about today. And I know I have re requested a lot from you this week, from all of you watching, and and there was only a handful of people joining the challenge. And again, it was not my intention to have only five people join the challenge. My intention was 
to have multiple people join the challenge. And again, I know that it's going to be easier in different challenges, but some of you, I know that you watch this and you, and you saw, oh, cool, like I need to step out of my comfort zone. I, I don't want to do it. I need to talk about my past. I don't want to do it. I need to talk about my triggers. I don't want to do it. And again, those are the thing that changes your skull. Like, you know, it's not about changing your, you, like it's about changing really habits, but it's also about changing your view on stuff, right? And again, I, I like the, the challenge was add a physical component in a sense that you needed to understand that you know when you create restriction that's a problem so i, I given the fact that the best tricks possible to change your uh you know like your average around food i gave you tricks to make that you can still hit dessert but there is a point that starts that you know you need to figure out what to do with in the moment okay and again we, we're talking about changing the mindset around food and that starts from like, like I can, from my own past, which I was an emotional eater. And so I know exactly probably how to coach people with the emotional eating part and without the emotional eating part, meaning like how to get into depth into what that is. And it's really important for you to, to do some work. And usually it's behind the fact that you think that again, you can act the way around it meaning like you can just use you know lower calorie food or whatever or dessert or not you know just to hack yourself around it and it's not necessarily the way it works uh because there is usually twofold number one is you, you need to be able to understand what to do in the moment and obviously what creates the problem okay usually the problem is created from things that you either again this is actually goes through things in life in general Meaning like either the education or that you were educated around food or the pain that you felt. Meaning like, you know, everybody has gone through either a trauma or, you know, uh, some abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. Everybody has, let's see if we can get her in this time. Everybody has gone uh, through sadness, you know, breakups or whatever. And again, whatever, you, you know, you went through in the past, uh, you know, it unfolds right now and and again it, it 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 like every time you can't express something really well any emotion then you get to turn to food for a very long time that was me like like i'm a, i'm a person that i think that i want to always describe myself as a perfectionist but i always want to strive for more and if i cannot get something when it comes to my career if i didn't get something when it comes to my relationship i turn into food right and again when you cannot express something when you feel the pain on that sense you turn into food as well and to fix it is is it's relatively simple people feel like it's so difficult to do but if you have your brain telling me like you're watching something and, and it's like oh i i don't I'm not supposed to eat it but i'm gonna eat it anyway then you know there is work to do because doing that type of work we're gonna do today is a differentiation between between you uh taking six months or taking 10 years and again like you can just make it easier like when you just say, okay, I'm going to get like a, like instead of a Coke, a Coke Zero, that's it. I mean, you need to start that way. Motivation gets you started. Habits get you going. But at some point, you need to turn the corner and understand what's going on, okay? And this is why uh, it, it's important to get this part. Pain, whatever like it was, you know, whatever it was before, five minutes ago, it doesn't have to be the same, like right now. Like, you know, whatever, like the identity, you, it's an identity you have built for yourself, but whatever the identity was five minutes ago, it doesn't have to be the way right now. And there is only two ways you're actually fixing this. One, the mindfulness work that we're going to do that, the analytical mindfulness work we're going to do right now. The second one, and this is why it's so usually important for you to understand, you do not get to change from information. You get to change from you changing as a person. You need to get uncomfortable. Like you need to get out of the comfort zone on a daily basis. Why so hard? Because it's so damn small, the one that you have right now. It's like, if you can go live on a group, that's very, that's that's a problematic stuff. Like that's easy to do, right? There is a, a person like I, I study, I remember, um, you know, the, the, the disability act uh, in, in school ones. Uh, I, I remember you guys know Helen Keller, right? She, she lost sight and she lost her speech at the age of 19, right? So if you are afflicted by this thing, like for example, and she was like, and she, one thing she said one time, she was like, you need to get, you need to do something scary every single day. Like you need to get something scary done, right? 
if dog scares you or whatever, like, you know, they bite you like, like it did to me in the past, you know, you need to do something uncomfortable, right? Because, you know, I had a trauma, for example, when I was young, I think my, like my trauma was my father passing away at a very young age. I don't know if that got me to become emotional here, but definitely like uncomfortable, a comfort zone got me to keep it because like it's always comfort, right? If you're scared of heights, go somewhere, right? If you're scared of connecting with people, maybe like somebody that you like, you're not scared of connecting because you know you got fucked over one time and like you got pain, like you, you broke up in a relationship and you're scared of connecting, try to connect. If you're scared of like dating, try to date. If you're scared of like speaking in front of a public, try to speak. You need to do something uncomfortable. We won't get to do it today, but you need to do something uncomfortable like every single day, right? Now, the harder part is like doing the work, meaning like on the specific moment. Uh, good, Elena, you're here. I don't know if you like, if you want to try it like that, this is the time that you get to actually try it because I know you've been probably the one like, uh, you know, uh, you can unmute and, and actually talk. You've been the, the one that shared the most inside this challenge and, and, and every single time like you were sharing, I was trying to type. But what, you know, kind of like what I want to take you over right now, get you through is this specific work. Uh, and again, I'm going to take an example. Do you want to do it first and foremost? Yeah. Okay, great. Excellent. Now, um, this is an example of what needs to happen. And, and again, everybody that want to watch this is going to be a different example. But uh, we're talking about cravings, right? We're talking about mm -hmm. eating food that we're not supposed to eat. And we're talking mm -hmm. about this happening because of mind, um, I mean, for thoughts, for something that comes into our mind. Mm -hmm. Not because somebody's shoving your food on, on your throat. It's your decision. Yeah. Right. Yes. So mm -hmm. many people think that, in fact, there is some sort of like component of food that the food has control on you. Right. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I know I'm eating it. <laughs> so you, po you posted something and I wanted to start from there. Very interesting. Um, one, you posted that one time due to and I did not go into depth into into reading the whole thing. I mean, I didn't ask you more thing about it, but you posted that uh, you had um, like you had some sort of relationship with your mom and then. <laughs> you based on what she was looking or what she was doing like you also were eating the same thing right yeah. and you said something that in in that specific moment something went on your mind and and you're not supposed to eat it but you kind of almost like frame and like okay i'm gonna go buy it mm -hmm. and i'm gonna eat right okay i remember telling her that it was bad when i was young because she eat um two buckets of ice cream with one spoon she just sat down and eat all of it hugging does ice cream actually caramel and um, she just used to do that every two days. Um, and I kept telling her it's not good. It's going to kill you. She had really high sugar as well. And now it's me. Now I do that. Okay. Whenever I'm upset, I just go and buy it and just eat all of it. Like okay. big amounts. Let me ask you a few things. Uh, we'll start from zero. Like I really want to help you out. Like mm -hmm. you can tell me I don't want to share, but like if you do share, it's powerful, it's powerful for you. And this is the work, by the way, we would be doing in, in case that like, you know, that you mm -hmm. say one day is yes, uh, you know, I really want to get through that. Uh, do you have a good relationship with your mom right now? Yes or no? She has died. So no. That's the way. Okay. I get it. Okay. Yeah. So, but did you have one good one in the past? I did. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Good. So I, I, I feel exactly like I know exactly that. I mean, it's not the same thing, but like, I know exactly what you're feeling or what you felt. And mm -hmm. therefore I know that, you know, the emotional attachment, right? So right now, like you, you kind of like acquire this identity, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, this is this thing still happening sometimes, like this thing that you, you mentioned about going mm -hmm. and okay, in sad times, right? Yes. Right. I feel okay. like you know, I don't want to try anymore to be healthy or it's too much or I don't care anymore. And um, this is kind of doing revenge on myself, I guess, <laughs> or... Um, I feel like I am always trying not to eat sugar and then at some point I had enough and I can't try anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's it's when I hit my maximum, right. I think. And how do you see food, for example, like what 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 void are you trying to feel in what you do that? Like what like what is it that like you feel sad, right? So it's there must be something that yes. you get sad for. What is it that you get sad for? Oh, anything that specific I... example specific example if i fight with people or um if something happens and i get really sad or angry or anything like that okay and this is the same scenario 
let's mm -hmm. say it's almost like a recurring thing, right? Yeah, every two or three months, maybe I okay. do that. Right, but it's the same. Like I go buy the food, I go buy the ice cream, and you know I eat. Yes. And and you go from, I mean, do you go from telling yourself things such as I don't know, like you know, you have your goals. Because you're you're very vividly. Like, I tell myself I need it at this time. So right. when I'm really bad psychologically, I say I need it. So I'm gonna go buy it okay. because I need it. So I go to the supermarket just to buy that. It's not in the house, okay. so it's not around. And then I I tempted. No, I I actually go to buy it. But well, um, I don't the, really need it. Did you ask yourself the question before? Like, I mean, you ask your, I mean, you told yourself that day probably that you have goals and you feel bad about the way you look and you feel right before. Yeah. And then you you come to the realization that in like just five minutes you you telling yourself the opposite. Yes. Right. Okay. What's going on between like when you go into the to your car or you I don't know if you walk or you go to your car like what are the thoughts that goes on? Have you ever thought thought about it? Like in in no. between you and going to the store. Not really. I don't think I, I made the decision that I need it. So I will get it. And then I don't really think anymore. I think after I eat it, where I say I feel really, really bad. And I'm thinking of uh, what can I do to not have it in my stomach anymore? And it's really unhealthy thoughts. So I always say, okay, now you've eaten it. So just be careful next time. And then, um, Oh, so next, yeah. time. next time it happens exactly the same right so it doesn't serve you right like it, we, we established no. that okay yeah. so what are the so um what happens when you eat it it's like after that like do you feel like do you know exactly how you feel like you feel better you feel good i feel yeah. really bad and really guilty and I, I i wish i could puke it out to be honest but then you feel good for five minutes uh for the time i'm eating it yes but after I did, no, because I know it's bad and I did something wrong. So it's really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so there is no, not even the, re the reward part of your brain is not even yep. like giving you that food. Usually it's like five, 10 minutes long before you get that second <laughs> thought, but it, usually you don't. Okay. And, and you mentioned that every time you go into the car, like do you have like a car or you just walk? I have a car. Yes. And, and it's like, how long is the drive? uh 15 minutes 15 minutes okay so you have 15 minutes to think about something but you don't really no okay. um i don't even think of not doing it weirdly when i'm really sad i was just think okay i want something sweet and i need ice cream so i just go into the car go get it go home and then just sit down until the box finishes right um, okay that's why I said I'm like my mom because I was making fun of her, but now I do the same horrible thing. And I think it's sugar. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm addicted. No. What it. else you'll be eating right now? Why every three months? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, you don't know what yeah. an addiction is. Like I like I'm for, like fortunately enough, I'm not addicted, I guess, to anything, like particularly, mm -hmm. but not any that not any anything that has to do with drugs or chemical or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But but what you have is is a clear it's something that a lot of people emotional eater do but that's that's the thing this is exactly how it works the thing is that uh, now we have things to work with meaning like there is at least a couple of things you could technically do uh, right but i mean the easy part is like you know in, in, you, you probably could say okay instead of the ice cream like what you just did you just get a frozen yogurt right like that's the yes. same sweet but yes. you know what you know exactly sometimes you're like i really want that ice cream I got that, you know, no, I think this would work to be honest. It's sweet enough right, and okay. it looks like ice cream. So it can it can go instead of uh, ice cream. That's that's one thing you can try. But the, the other thing is that you need to get inside that state of mind and, and, and really get to the bottom because it's like you know that there is uh something you just said to yourself and you probably have listed the benefit of eating that ice cream maybe before and then that you know the the done the benefit that you know and, and the benefit is there's really taste and the other like the benefit from not eating it it would be a bunch of things that you get to experience right mm -hmm. but um you, there is things like we, there is always two problems with emotional eating hormones and thoughts the thoughts is the one that we need to work on it's like what what like you mentioned about becoming more mindful around food and it's like what can you start thinking on on that what can you think 
on on like what should you think like between you and your car drive because like you you said something to yourself the day and then you say something in five minutes and then you're like okay i really do should like i, I said last time to myself i was going to do something different right mm -hmm. what is it really that i needed for Like, is that a way to reconnect with my mom or is that a way for, to, to like, you must start asking yourself the right questions on that specific, specific mom because the, the goal is not not to do it, but mm -hmm. one, every single time to add something to it is like, to get to the point that, again, it would take maybe five or 10 years and you get to the point to do it in six months because it's like, mm -hmm. you really need to get to whatever that is. Like, is that a way to feel more connected to, you know, to the, to the memory of your mom? Is that a way to feel... Uh, mm. like again no, I'm not I'm not really asking that because mm. I mean you don't necessarily need to share that in, like if you don't want but it's like you need I to I don't get... think it is I think because I, I I didn't like it when she did it so I don't think it's a way of reconnecting right. I think in a way I feel like that's my legacy of being really bad like my mom and with high blood sugar like diabetes like she had so maybe it runs in the family So, yeah, but not that part. It's like that you, yeah. you could have a metabolic part component, but that, that's not like that. There is no such thing such as, you know, ingrained mind component. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like that you get to control your thoughts. You can always get better putting it in that way. And again, um, the question, the real question is, you really want to ask yourself the, not why you're doing it, but more so like, what are you feeling on that moment? Which is should, obviously is, is like sadness, right? The emotion is mm -hmm. like in, incapability of, you know, to share the, the sadness or to deal with the sadness right yes But also of course you want to be controlling to not get sad in the first place so like it's it's, it's kind of like back frame mm -hmm. but then the question the most important one because it's really analytical on the food is like do you see this happening yes or no in this case you do most people maybe watching like you don't necessarily eat and you just start eating mindlessly and, you, and you're like fuck i didn't realize i was doing it and after you realize like oh next time i need to do differently cool like that's one thing You need to catch. You need to see your thoughts, the way they're happening. You need to catch them, and then you need to do something with it, which is like reframing them. Now, this is very like this is not something you do in one thing. It's like you don't do this and this and that. You do it. It's like first you see it. Like again, you you know that you're about to do it, but you don't know how to stop it. Yeah, makes sense. So. Mm -hmm. We do, you catch your thought with something that like the way that I do, I'd like to call it meditation, but it's not really like the meditation traditionally you sit down for like, it's just simply, and it's been proven to work time and time again, like on the labs and people started, the studies like, I do that, I start three to five times a day. That's in, in our program. I, I almost make people do it for like, there is a, a module like inside that maybe Lamy saw it as well. It's like you breathe and it's like, you're really breathing in and out and it's like the, you, you're really centered towards your 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 breath your breath right anywhere from the next one minute your mind is gonna start wondering it's gonna think about something random about something good something bad like it doesn't have to be anything specific when you do realize that this is happening you think it oh i'm like oh why am i thinking about this i'm meditating you go back mm -hmm. okay you go back And, and you do that, like you can, I would start, I, I still after maybe a couple of years, I'll do it like five, five minutes between five and 10 minutes. Some people do it 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I wouldn't do any more than 20 minutes because initially it's really about like, you'll see the results. I'll do it early morning, whether you're laying down or sitting down. It's not about relaxing this meditation. It's about getting really aware of how where your thoughts are your brain. And it's like, oh, they start wondering. It's like, you put it back. Yeah. That, that crazy how that like your life is gonna change because at, at the moment you're like what am i doing it's like i know i'm not supposed to be doing it i said so many times that i'm not supposed to be doing it let's do something different so elena the first step is like you re you're realizing it like you, you know you're doing it but you're realizing it between now and the car you don't live in autopilot like you have like the, the, you see the thought and it's like i have command on that i'm the one driving Nobody's driving me. Nobody's forcing the food. Nobody's telling me how to go. And again, the goal is not not to do it. The goal is to get better. The mm -hmm. goal is like saying, I'm going to do it this time. And next time it's going to get better, but I'm really going to get better. Okay. It's not going to happen all at once. I can promise you that. You do not want to feel like a failure every single time that you do it. Okay. It's like, it's a test. You do that in, in a daily living. 
then when you see this is happening you reframe it and like if you have command and it's like oh okay how what can i do instead let's make a yogurt instead mm -hmm. okay let's do what you just did if, if you can do it in one in one command that's amazing some people most people can't and again it, it, it's up to the individual it's up to the mm -hmm. situation if you were somebody was in the past let's say in the past raped uh, you know, like you have, and and you as a as a reward you get food. It's very difficult to do that because it's it's almost like a part of you, right? Uh, then, it's about really changing. So seeing your thoughts, uh, getting them to like you know realize what you're doing, like seeing your thoughts, and then get, getting to reframe the thought in the moment. Okay, and, and again, this takes work, but it's the one thing that, that this is kind of like the work that you're doing on the moment, right? And then. The harder part is really the, the the getting uncomfortable. Like the harder part is like you understanding that, and again, I'm going to use it to your example, you understanding that whatever thought you have about the, whatever thing you have about your mother in this case, like I am like her, or I I, I think it's something genetical. So it's like an identity you're acquiring, right? It's an identity you're acquiring. Is you seeing that that's identity, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be true. Like I'm assuming that you don't want to, like to be uh, feeling like food controls you right so mm -hmm. you do that by again doing uncomfortable things day in and day out really try and i'm going to challenge you again if you were you're watching you don't have to do it but like go live on the group if that's something really scary for you you do like it's something mm -hmm. so easy and it's, an, it's a challenge it's, it's an example if something else that you do uncomfortable like every single day be like that shows you that you can do stuff that you th thought was silly and so silly or you can't do it or like whatever like whatever you think you can you can okay that changes your identity the other one is like reframing your brain okay and reframing your brain is like like okay the, the work we're doing right now okay and the work we're doing right now is very powerful in a sense that you go from just acting the way with food around it and and again that needs to stay there the restriction part needs to get get stay here yet there is work psychological work in in in, in emotional eating 80 percent is psychological 80 percent like i mean well actually we'll, we'll call it like more like 64 like 60 percent because in fact if you don't if you sub restricting most people realize that they're not an emotional eater when you start doing shit such as going and buy food that you're going to eat like the whole, like that's emotional eating. Like what, what I was doing, I was like getting my mom, she was making the, the, the ice cream. I was putting, you know, cookies on top and it was like, and then I had like another bag of chips all at one sitting. It's like that, that shit's, that's emotional eating. It's not, it's not restriction, right? But if you just start, some people do that because they skip breakfast and so they are hungry. And instead of eating real food, they eat that. Or some people eat the whole day and then like, that in the night and it's like oh what am i really doing like i never ask myself that sometimes like you it's like i know i shouldn't be doing it and, and elena and it still happens to me like maybe last week and it's not something like i don't want to be like that i'm like nobody then you shouldn't be ashamed it's like it, everybody's human it's very difficult to fall for that but it's important for you to uh like hopefully this open your eyes a little bit on the type of work again i wish like we had real time to go into it and again, right now, I'm going to talk about it. In fact, there, there might be a possibility, but like right now is really the word that you need to do is in that case. So this kind of question, powerful question. Okay. So with this being said, first and foremost, I want to thank Elena for, for um, you know, sharing that part because it's first and foremost to share, you know, anything that has to do with your past. And as you have done inside the challenge, really, I commend you for that. And you're watching uh, just really get this group i want i have 200 people inside a group or two almost 300 we have about 10 people posting on a regular basis like really do the work like trade this group as 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 what it is because it's powerful for those that do like you know you guys seeing it the difference between between the one that actually do the work so just you know there is going to be challenges like drink water challenge because hydration is important everybody can take a bottle drink and take a picture and, and put it there like that's so easy and every single time it's going to count as an entry like just do it because you know i rather have <laughs> that's good i'd rather have you know you know 200 people that do the work that you know 2000 like most of the group that all spammers and again it's like important because this 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 community uh is going to always get better and is always gonna be part of what what you know me changing your life for those of you that that are here 
But again, it comes to the to that to the realization also that what I'm going to talk about right now. You know, we're talking about Black Friday, and we're talking about the fact that you know there is a free group that is changing life, and still we have about you know 80% of the people not posting, and, and that's the realization. It's like when shit is free. You know, there is really two type of people. One that understand that's what they should do and they do it. And the other one, they do nothing with it. And, and, and I have coached about a thousand people between in live interaction or, you know, like that. And, and in the past 20 years. And, and, and like, I always see the same pattern. The more successful people is the one that they understand that they need to do the work, whether you need to invest in yourself or not. What, I, what, is, what is about to happen is Black Friday right now. Like it was big in US, it's getting big in, in, in Europe too. And what I don't, while you're going to be exposed to so many things right now, uh, I see that a huge common problem is really about the fact that in the next week or so, you're going to get stop, get, get so enticed on buying stuff, like so stuff that for me in the past two I did, and you don't really use it, but just for the fact because it's cheap, right? So what I what I thought, I don't believe on, on Black Friday, all this BS and say, oh, you know, 50% off. I don't believe on that because... If I did that, if I discounted my stuff for 50%, what would my program, like what would my product be worth in general? Like the day before, it's like, from what day is like come from, you know, like this huge ass thing, like, and to like, so that's why I don't necessarily do. And a lot of people that are reaching out and ask me like, hey, what are you doing for Black Friday? And for, initially I said, nothing, it's just like it's another day. But, you know, I don't believe on discount, but I do believe on, on introdu introdu introducing new stuff. And as I'm launching a lower tier part of my program, I thought to do something very particular for a lot of people that watch, okay? And again, it's not, uh, it's different between a discount as an introduction of a price because I have a lower tier product, uh, a service, which is it's called accountability, it's called project accountability, which is very similar to the work that we did with Eleanor right now. On top of that, having Zoom calls like that as a group, you know, at least once a week, which you're probably gonna have in, 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 inside the group. And something that is called weekly focuses, okay? Weekly focuses is every week we're going to target something very specific in which you're going to get to post and interact with. And again, it's something very particular. And what I did, and, and I cannot even believe that I'm doing it, why am I doing it? But it's something that is a lower tier price when it comes to a service, like when it comes to me, this is actually not a course, it's actually real coaching. So it's not like I can say, you know, I would give it to you for free because it's like it's real time I have that I don't enjoy with my family or friend just to do work with you. OK, with this being said, I always believe in, in chances. I always believe in people that, again, much like we said before, there are people watching this, which I have spoke, which I have personally spoke. And there is always this tendency of being, uh, you know, kind of like don't want money to invest or like not having the money or whatever it is. And again, it's the same thing like we said before. This applies to life in general the way you were educated around money or that you have felt the pain. You've been burnt, like you've been trying something and it's not worked. You've been embarrassed before, like you, maybe your spouse telling you, oh, I gave you a loan and like this thing went to shit. Why, why do you want it again? Like, or, or like, you know, having a business and, and failing and feeling like, fuck, like maybe I'm a failure on that too. It's like, it's pain you felt and I get it, I get it, but I'm here to help and this is why I'm doing it. Now, for, and I can only do it until like from now until Black Friday, we have seven days. And again, this is actually, uh, I was believing giving chances, but given once. And again, if you reach out and those are the watch, watching, I know that it's going to be people watching and, and telling me, uh, you know, I want to start later. That's not an option. Like it's, it's like what I'm doing, I'm basically getting a lower tier price, but I'm not giving it to you that, that price. I'm giving it to you almost F off of that, which is make it like almost something like crazy that, before I started online in seven years from now is how I started there, okay? Now, if you're watching and, and you're one of you is here, Lamis, you are in the program, you will get that automatically. So it's not like something you have to feel whatever, like you're missing out. You, uh, somebody that has a, some sort of like challenge or whatever, like deal, you do not get to stack it. Like you cannot stack stuff up for an obvious reason. I have a business so I wanna actually make a living too. But, you watching and say, yes, that's a possibility. I can give it to you for only five people. So the first come for serve, you type down here, you type accountability, okay? And I reach out at you because first of all, I wanna see if I can help you, if this is something you need. And, I, and obviously you, you don't wanna be a pain in the ass of a client on a sense that, you know, like you do really like some clients are just, unfortunately you're watching are just bad. Not, not, not current client, but in the past, like people that were not ready to invest. And again, uh, you know, that's like, it's not gonna work. 
but it's really something that like you is crazy that you're not taking advantage of that now the good part is again five the first five if you lock in this thing because obviously it's, it's going to be almost like you're going to see it almost like a monthly thing until that you decide to stop if you lock thing lock in this entry point you will not see your price raise ever for that you will not change so you basically coming in for for you know the whatever you know service that i have right now for a lower tier almost f off and you will not get an increase of that if you decide that that's useful and you want to continue friday next friday prices go to the regular introductory price and it's only going to go up in the future because obviously as i get more booked as i get more uh, things that are always going to go up in general and obviously as i'm planning to launch so many things also in the future my service is always and as i'm getting booked i'm going to need to have an, another an extra team not only one assistant and again uh with this being said i don't believe in black friday but this is your opportunity if you're watching the replay type accountability for the first five of you if you if, if, if you're number six you're not getting like obviously i'm going to tell you okay we can you want to still want to reach out but like obviously that's one thing with this being said, ladies, thank you so much. Uh, and again, um, I am extra 20 minutes. I'm going to log into another meeting. Again, if you guys want to log in and ask any question regarding anything or you want to talk about a little bit, I have a still 20 minutes at my disposal and you can talk. But with this being said, hopefully you enjoy today's training. And I welcome, and I welcome you again in the group if you're new. And uh, we're going to talk very soon next Wednesday. There is going to be amazing training about metabolism. You don't want to miss that. I'm going to log in again, ladies, if you want. With this being said, Jerry here, clocking off, and I'm going to talk to you soon. Thank you, Jerry. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.